Hello there. Plenty to talk about with the world weather at the moment, and most of it is storm-related. Let's start off in North America, where I just, first of all, want to talk about uh, Tropical Storm Sergio. Still expected potentially to make landfall close to the Baja Peninsula in the next 12 to 24 hours. At the same time, I'm pleased to say Hurricane Michael is now no more. It's a tropical storm. It continues to bring some flooding rains across the Carolinas, but it's moving away at quite a pace. And as it tracks up through that eastern seaboard, it will ease off into the Atlantic by Friday. But then, interestingly enough, watch the wind direction swing round to more of a northerly and uh, it could be an issue in terms of the feel of the weather over the next couple of days. We've had a cold plunge of air across Canada and that's been working its way down through the Rockies. But some of that cold air, obviously not quite as extreme, is going to move its way steadily south and it will impact on the temperatures. So we're looking at temperatures just a few degrees above freezing into Winnipeg, still into the mid-20s for Dallas, Texas, but those temperatures will ease down over the next few days. Now, further afield, we've got a couple of cyclones around at the moment. One, Titley, has already made landfall in the Bay of Bengal. The other one, Luban, expected to make landfall perhaps during the early half of the weekend. Both significant storms and both could cause some issues with flooding. So you can see Titley moving up through the Bay of Bengal as we speak. This is Luban now continuing to track in a northwesterly direction. So as I say, expected to potentially make landfall during the latter stages of Friday into Saturday morning close to uh, the coast of Yemen. Now we are looking at huge storm surge associated with this storm, significant rainfall and a lot of wind as well. So there'll be some lifted dust in this area and certainly that one is going to have an impact. So we'll need to keep a close eye on it. Let's move uh, towards uh, South Asia and Titley will continue to track its way steadily westwards and then pivot back up into West Bengal over towards Bangladesh over the next few days and produce further spells of heavy possibly flooding rains here. So we'll need to keep a close eye on that one. Back closer to home though to uh, Europe, an area of high pressure sitting across Eastern Europe keeps things relatively quiet but a storm moving in to the northwest and this is, will bring some wet and windy weather across the UK gales or severe gales associated with it as well at the same time dragging up a southwesterly flow so we've got some warmth across France and into Germany quite unusual for this time of year still those temperatures into the mid 20s few sharp showers not out of the question across southern Italy but they will start to ease away over the next few days that's it take care